Welcome, Leo Virgo, to your beginning of the month reading for February. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's get straight into your energy, what you're thinking and feeling, or the energy surrounding you. And remember, friends, if this doesn't resonate with you, watch your regular sun. Um, sign reading or your rising moon or Venus and whatever doesn't resonate with you please throw away it's not meant for you okay Leo Virgo best messages for Leo Virgo please best messages for Leo Virgo over here could be a third party situation involved somebody might be interfering in your relationship third party remember does not mean it has to be cheating it could mean you have a friend that is involving themselves into a situation they should not be in it's when another person is or situation is butting into something it could even be work right if your partner works too much and they use work more than home that could be a third party. So everybody understands third party does not automatically mean cheating. Okay. Clarifying on the three of cups. We'll know that as soon as we get the three of coins. <laughs> okay. Or th Another three, right? It's causing emotional loss. No matter what, I do feel it is somebody butting in no matter what. It's causing unhappiness. Um, getting straight into the situation. The situation is the present, the near past, or the near future. Spiritual union is upside down. You know things in the recent past, you are knowing. Your intuition is open. You have the clarity and the understanding to understand exactly what's going on when the crown chakra is open. This means I know. Don't tell me I don't. Okay, and the balance is upside down, saying there is no truth and there is no balance and there is no justification. It's the same as the justice card. Um, so something is imbalanced. Going straight into the crown chakra of the past. The past could be, the recent past could be this weekend, a week ago, two months ago. Take it how it resonates. Crown chakra. What if I find the knowing is what, what does Leo Virgo know about the situation? What does Leo Virgo know about the situation? The two of staffs. Someone is looking outward. You are looking outward. You're knowing. It's like you're looking at this mountain and you're going, I understand the situation. I know what the truth, Justice. Ooh. You're saying, I know the truth. Not moving on with that. If you're dealing with a Libra, it could be a possibility. Or a Cancer. Could be, doesn't have to be. Um, but however it is, you know that they're not moving towards you. You know that something is going on that's keeping them from um, getting close to you. They've stopped coming close to you. But you know the truth. The truth is, why are they not moving towards you? Or if I on the chariot, why are they not moving towards the Virgo? Why are they not moving towards the Virgo? Knight of Cups. 
offering cups of love is somewhere else. So it is third party situation in that sense. So they are offering cups of love somewhere else. They could be offering cups of love to a Scorpio. Um, and you know this. You've been looking out long enough to come to the realizations, Leo Virgo, that they are offering cups somewhere else. They're offering their passions of cups elsewhere. You know this. You can see it. The spiritual union upside down. This is not making you happy. You were very, very upset about this third party. It's keeping you at emotional loss, and it feels like it's keeping you at an emotional distance as well. You have distanced yourself from this person because they have distanced themselves from you. Um, spiritual union upside down with the seven of staffs. Yeah. Could be dealing... Could be dealing with Sagittarius, but I do believe the King of Steps is yourself, taking on your own fire energy over here. Still staying strong within your foundation, still taking on the power. Um, it even feels like there could be a power play going on over here. Um, you think that they have made a foolish mistake, and you are literally, right now, I believe you're making a power play. Um, when I see the King of Staffs sitting like that, The power play is escaping the energy, making them understand. And it is, it's totally 100% an understanding that I feel you have played me as a fool. You think I'm foolish. And here comes your power play. So you're like taking the ball back into your court to make them understand that, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're going to make them understand. I know exactly what you're doing. Don't play me for a fool. I have the knowledge and the understanding I've used my intuition. I know what is going on. You can't keep secrets from me because I know your secrets. Um, so any secret that you're holding withholding from me um, is going to backfire in their face. Okay. You have the balance within yourself and the perception to the understanding of what's going on. So if there's whatever was unspoken between you and this partner is now going to end up coming out. Um, you might not have, you might not be exactly ready just yet because you still might be using that power play, still thinking about what's going to happen. Um, you're getting ready to have this open, honest discussion with this person, um, and it's going to be very powerful, very honest and very powerful. I think you're just really digging deep within your intuition right now to come to the conclusion of how this is going to be spoken. And if you haven't come to the conclusion yet, Spirit really wants you to know that whatever has not been spoken needs to be spoken. Okay, with the high priestess. Why? Because it's a major arcana telling you this is what needs to be done, right? Page of Swords, communication, there it is again. And you have the temper, oh, perfect timing. So you have the perfect timing for this, this unspoken conversation. Perfect timing again to try to bring in the harmony, try to bring in the peace for the emotional loss, letting them know, hey, look at how you hurt me. Maybe this will bring in some healing. Maybe it'll bring in some understanding. Maybe it will do something, right? Maybe the connection will do something. Um, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about this. Um, but you are definitely... Um, Taking back the authority, that's for sure. You have the imbalance over here and the truth upside down, which is the same as this card. So in the near future, opposition, five of swords upside down with the nine of swords, ouch with the seven of cups. And who's that Who's that going on? This could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Looks like it's all on them. It looks like it's all on this. We're gonna call it Libra. Looks like it's all on this Libra, on how they're gonna deal with this. It feels like the words are spoken. Things are said. Opposition does come. They start 
holding their ground in the near future after you say this, this is going to also bring in this emotional loss, not just for you, but for them as well. Why? Because they're caught red handed. Five of Swords are going to try to deny this is ever happening, uh, but it brings in the Nine of Swords for you both. Um, you're both going to be feeling anxious. You're both going to have this insomnia. You're both going to feel down and have this emotional loss. You're going to find that with the Seven of Cups upside down, it's actually going to try to conf they're going to act like they're confused. I don't even feel like they are confused. They're going to act confused. Um, but maybe then, maybe they are confused because they're going to say, how did Leo Virgo know? <clears throat> how did they know? Because they're freaking smart. That's why. Okay, Knight of Staffs. Because the way you're doing things, you know, a baby could figure it out. Okay, Knight of Staffs. Yeah, you're moving away from this. It's like you got on your ship and you're saying, that's it. You know what? I've had enough of this. Um, I'm not going to take your um deceit anymore i'm not going to take any of this anymore so from the majority of you you are moving away from this um why because of the ten of staff standing your ground for the achievements that you want very determined to continue with what you want and they're also de determined to continue to do whatever they're doing you're tired of their secrets you're tired of all of this everything that they has been going on has now been illuminated with the light you know it when they start acting this weird way when you have this conversation everything's going to come to light every secret that they have is going to come out and you see this dog down here that's them because you're going to tell them exactly the way it is and that's going to put them into a <laughs> into a oh, dead mode, right? They can't move. They can't move because they can't say anything. They're gonna try to say things to you to try to confuse the situation or make it or deny it. And, but you've toppled them upside down and you know it. Their comebacks are either silent or they're trash. Because it could just be more lies on top of lies on top of lies. The world around you that you know will not be the same. Why? Because now you know the, you now know the ultimate truth. Where your intuition had played a big role in getting to understand and knowing everything is now going to have, give you this newfound world, this new understanding of what's really going on. And they're actually going to, um, well, you already knew the truth, but pretty much the truth now is told, so it's all done. It's all done now. So this is going to bring you into a different cycle um, and way of thinking and feeling about the situation as well. Because I think what's going to happen, Leo Virgo, is when they tell you that this is not true, this is not going to, it's just going to kind of heat you up and kind of get you to the point where it's like, really, this is the kind of games you're going to play. Um, and it does feel like, fine, that's fine. I'm going to be this beautiful Cleopatra over here and I'm walking right through this. Um, and right into a new chapter because this is not something that you're looking forward to. This is not what the world you want to have is, right? So you're determined to get past this world. Yeah, eight of coins upside down. I'm done focusing. You're not going to focus on them anymore because you have yourself to focus on. You might even have a child to focus on. You're going to gain your strength. You see that all they're doing is stealing your energy with the seven of swords. They're look at they're they're picking up everything along the way and just kind of holding on to it like it's theirs and then acting like it's nothing's wrong with that. You know, and picking up what chicks, dudes, whatever, right? Yeah, well, oh, <laughs> what they already have is already in their arms, but they want more. And you have this understanding, you know, this is not the way this is going to work. So you're going to get back into your strength and boy, are you going to show the strength towards them because you're going to let them know that this is not what is necessary. Um, and this is not what you're going to put up with in the near future is really what it looks like. Um, whether or not with the page of coins, but some of you are going to say, this is not what I want. You will change your ways or we're done um, with the page of coins. Offering this new slow message coming to them. Yep. Yep. That's it. Six of staffs. 
Either you fix things, do what you're supposed to do, or I'm out of here. And then for some of you, it's there's no fixing anything. So the message coming through is I'm walking out. So take it how it resonates. It's going to be a little different for each and every one of you. And remember, if it's not love, it could be a job. It could be that they're offering more hours to somebody else on the job and you're not going to deal with this and you're going to let them know, you know what? You keep giving my hours away to somebody else. I'm out of here. So, but mostly this is love. But I do see that as well. Just going to bring that up. Listen to your intuition. Don't stop listening to your intuition because you are right on target. That Leo intuition is coming in and it is right on top. There could be, it's going to end with a peaceful resolution. Um, but for most of you, you're going to let it go. Um, and that's going to be your choice, whether or not you're letting the person go, if it's a job, this job go, or if it's the whole situation, which I really don't see with the power. Uh, Leo Virgo, you're one of the most powerful signs when it comes to strength um, for cusps. Um, so I don't see that. <laughs> I, I just don't. I really don't. So I don't see that just... Oh yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't see that. So, um, when it comes to hard headedness and getting down to stuff, I don't see that. So when you're getting ready for a power play, you're going to make a power play and I don't, there's no coming. I, I just don't see it. It's not going to be like I bounced the ball against the wall and it came back, let's play, let's play ball again. No, it's more like I bounced the ball against the wall, it hit you, knocked you out, and then I walked away. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I, I mean, I have a very, very good friend who is a Leo Virgo, and that would be, this would be like the, this is you. I, I don't, you know, you are that line. That's just the way it's going to be, because you're fearful, you're going to stand your ground, and that's just going to be it, so... That's the way I see this. That's the way I see it. Now, that doesn't mean it has to be that way for everybody. If you're married or something like this, and this is however it is, maybe they're not giving attention to another love. Maybe they're giving too much attention to another friend or work or something else. Then, yeah, you know, you could just let it go. Fine, fine. Let bygones be bygones. But if it is a love connection, I don't see that. I'm sorry. Yeah, separation right off the bat. I don't see that at all. That's just my interpretation of how I see my Leo Virgo friends. So I just don't see that. So, okay. And that is it for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. And friends, don't forget to watch the chakra readings that are coming up. Um, I do believe you're on the list for this month. So until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.